Perseverance flying with Alex in an F-15 in the skies over Lake and Heath tomorrow. Now, 5,000 Northampton fans have been heading north today for one of the biggest games in the club's history. It's the Carling Cup, it's Liverpool, it's Anfield, Jonathan Park is there. <laughs> That's right, yes, it's raining, but it's Anfield. Behind me, as you can see, is the cot, one of the most famous sites in world football where the die-hard Liverpool fans sit for the games. The other end of the ground is where the Northampton Town fans will be tonight. As you mentioned, there are thousands of them tonight. And when this draw was made a couple of weeks ago, it was one of those away trips that they just had to be part of. Not your average away trip. On Saturday, it was to Shrewsbury. Today, it's Anfield home of the five times European Cup winners Liverpool. Heading along for the ride around 5,000 Cobblers fans. Some were leaving six fields this lunchtime for the club's biggest game in years. Well, we might win, you never know, you know. I mean, we do some funny things at Cobblers. I, I read a bottom or top, you know. <laughs> Look at Brentford last night. They beat Everton, didn't they? All right, on penalty, but we can do it. <laughs> Northampton, yeah, hopefully. Well, I mean, as you can see, I'm both, so. Northampton are used to the rigours of lower league football, but have something of a Carling Cup pedigree in recent years. This win at Championship side Reading set up tonight's tied Anfield, while two years ago they knocked out Bolton and took Sunderland to penalties. Very high profile opposition, so you know, we're going to really have a good day, go for it and uh, you know, hopefully give our fans something to shout about, the, the, the 5,000 that are going up there. and uh, you, know, you never know, it's a football game at the end of the day, we've got a 50-50 chance. But Liverpool are not in the best shape. Sunday's painful defeat to Manchester United leaves them one point above the relegation zone. But manager Roy Hodgson is far too experienced to underestimate their opponents. They'll be athletic. They're a young team. They, they run around a lot. Um, our scouts have been quite impressed with what they've seen from them. So they're going to they're gonna mount a formidable challenge. Skipper and defender Andy Holt has played in the lower leagues all his life. He could have left Cobblers during the summer, but now faces the multi-millionaires of Liverpool. It's a massive stadium, massive place to go to, great history and I think that if they can control the nerves and get on the pitch and enjoy themselves, so it'll be a good evening. It's a massive contrast. Liverpool's wage bill is £96 million a year. Northampton's is just under a million pounds. But come 8 o'clock tonight at Anfield, the scores start level and the Cobblers might just be 90 minutes away from the greatest result in their history. Yeah, it really is cup upset football tonight with the rain as well, so you never know tonight at all. Sadly for two of the region's other teams, they're not through to round three. Peterborough and MK Dons lost last night, but Ipswich are through to the fourth round, and uh, they had a fabulous win last night at Mill. They won by two goals to one with goals from Thomas Priskin, uh, also on the first half, and another first half goal from Gareth McCauley. Uh, Mill did hit back, but uh, Town are through to Saturday's draw. Well, the last time that Northampton Town played here at Anfield was in 1965. Uh, on that occasion, they lost by five goals to nil. But you never know, tonight they're making hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of money, whatever the result. Let's have a chat to some key people tonight. We've got the mascot, and Steve, who's uh, paid a pricey sum of £500 to have your boy here um, as a mascot tonight. That's right, now, exactly, yeah, £500, but £500 is good money spent as far as I'm concerned. Um, very proud moment seeing my son and Oliver going onto the pitch. Let's just hope the boys can do the job and win the game. Archie, how's it going to go then tonight? What's the score going to be? Excellent. 3 uh, 1. You've got a lovely kit there, haven't you? you? Are you ready to run out with the team behind you? Yeah. Oliver's next to you as well. Oliver, you're doing the same thing as well. What, what's it going to feel like? Um, I might be a bit nervous going onto the pitch, but I think it'll be okay. You're going to get a big cheer from the fans, aren't you? Yeah. Well, listen, guys, you enjoy the game tonight, and I'm sure you will do as well. It's going to be a fabulous occasion for all those. Cobblers fans and uh, we just hope that they get the result that they all want tonight and don't forget you can listen to the match on BBC Radio Northampton their coverage coverage starts at seven o'clock tonight back to you in the studio Jonathan thank you very much indeed get in out of that rain <laughs> now one man who would love to be in the dugout at Anfield tonight is Paddy Riley from Corby he's a security guard who keeps applying for the manager's job at football league clubs so many in fact that he's in the Guinness Book of Records as football fans, we often think we can do much better than the manager. But Paddy Riley goes even further by applying for the actual jobs. I uh, bought some Millwall shares and just after I had the shares, Millwall sacked their manager. So I thought as a shareholder, I'd give it a go and go for the manager's job. And they obviously turned me down, but I got a bit of a bug for it. So I went for any manager's job that came up then. Knocked back 
52 times, we've set Paddy the managerial challenge of coaching this year seven squad from Kingswood School in Corby. As long as we score more than them, we'll win this game. Defend as a team and attack as a team. Hands together. Let's get in there. Wide, give him something there. That's it, get on his back, on his back now, lads. Oh, come on. Anna, oh, no. Pressure, push him down on me. Push him down on you. No matter. I'm surprised he's been rejected by all the top clubs because he's the New England manager for me. He's a classic manager. I think he could be as good as Fergie someday. But Paddy's aiming even higher. I've got a right taste for it today. And like the lads said at the end, the England job, I think I, I think I will in 2012, Capello, I'm after his job. That's what I'm after. Joe Black, BBC Look East. I like him. I like a man with ambition, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the weather with Alex. It's been a